Thank you guys for watching the Animal One Guys YouTube channel. If you like my content, leave a comment down below. Ask me questions, let me know what you liked about it. And hey, click on the little like button. But please, if you want, go ahead and subscribe because it helps my channel out. That way you can stay up to date with all my videos. And if you want, click on the bell icon to get notified. Right? Right? Huh? One out of two. Not bad. Okay. Here we are, guys. Let's hope this is going to be one of the biggest updates. <sighs> you can see he's kind of propping himself up a little bit. Still a little bit flat, but that's okay. Um, it's still in the same enclosure. Everything's okay. Still in the quarantine room. He doesn't look as green because I have another LED light that's just shining right up on top of his mercury vapor bulb, like straight in, straight next to it for filming purposes. That way he's just not all green. Um, he has been moving around the tank a little bit. I don't get to catch it, but I'll come and he'll be on the, like underneath the hide log or halfway to the other side. Uh, and so it's not too, it's not too bad. He's still mostly flat right now, but that could just be because he's chilling. But I think what we're going to, we're going to look for is have we reached a point where there's no more tube feeding? What do we have there? Live Dubia Roach. I am going to smash the roach's head. The roach is still pretty much alive or randomly dead. And I'm going to drop it in the tank right in front of him. Let's zoom in. And hopefully he will see it. It will move a little bit. Uh, and he will eat it. They're covered, you know, in calcium. Which is good to, you know, help maybe try to... You can never get rid of MBD once it kicks in like this, but you can, you know, make it not as bad. So here we go. Fire one. Oh. Okay. He did look at it right away. Fortunately, I think... The killing of that roach was kind of a little bit too much. Oh, oh, wait. Look at that. He's trying. Oh, this is great. Come on, a little bit closer, buddy. Yes. Now go for it. And if you look, his right arm is tucked up and back, but he's on his hand. Come on. That was great. He was trying. Let me get down a little bit. We can film this up so maybe we get more of a head-on position than a than an above shot. Yes, yes, success. Oh, that's great news. Stop right here. And he sucked that thing down. All right, next one. Now, I don't want to give too many. Because he could throw up. These are solid. I'll give him maybe, maybe four, uh, but three for sure. And we do want him to have to move for him. Yes. We have a long physical therapy road ahead of him. Yes! This is great. This is absolutely wonderful. Now, we'll do four. Now guys, don't don't be discouraged if you're like, he's barely moving. That's fine. He's moving after the food. So he's got appetite. He's eating solid food. There he is with his mouth opened. Now I dropped that one pretty much all the way to the corner. So he's hungry. That's that hungry look. You guys have known to come in love. That is that hungry look. I'm gonna move this one a little bit out of the corner. There we go. Look at him. Oh, just amazing. This is the best result we could have got. Now I'm gonna drop one kinda towards the, the back side of the tank. This is gonna be the last one. Yes, he could definitely eat more. Look at his mouth, it's opened. We're not gonna do that. This is solid food. He will throw these up if he eats too many. It's gonna go on the top, it's just gonna go behind him. He would love if I just put it in his mouth. I'm not going to. Come on. It's not moving. Come on, start moving, little roach. 
Let me get the camera adjusted. This has pretty much been the best result we could ask for. And down. Up, up. Let's see where I can clip this in. Look at him. Look at him. He is hungry. Which, you know, guys, some people will be like, he's starving. Feed him more. Can't do that. Cannot let him eat unlimited. Come on. Come on, make the turn. I'll help you a little bit. I'll move your butt a little bit back. There you go. Just move his butt a little bit to get him in position. Let me turn this roach upwards. He's moving. Not gonna. You really want me to put this in your mouth. Come on. Come on. So, all right, I gave in for the last one. He did real good. You got to start somewhere. Everyone's got to start somewhere. But, um, guys, that's excellent. I mean, that those are excellent results. Now, we still are going to give him his little morning booster of the vitamin shot. He is still hungry. That's okay, which is just a little bit of calcium powder right there. A little bit of multivitamin powder. And then I don't mix it with the Repti Aid anymore for parasites or, or vitamins. I just mix it with just a touch of tap water. And guys, I'm using tap water on purpose here. Um, the tap water where I drink, where I drink, where I live, is, is fairly decent. Um, but all the minerals and you know the chemicals and everything in it we actually kind of want there you go be yeah and he just takes that in um which is a really good sign we're going to start putting weight on him now that he's eating solid we'll offer him every day uh th throughout this week he's still going to get his calcium and multivitamin in the morning that's going to go through one more week and he's going to get Probably three roaches offered to him every morning, uh, you know, at further distances. Two to three, two to four, I should say. It's going to depend. It depends on the size, guys, right? Bear with me a little bit. Some are a little bit bigger. Some are a little bit smaller. So I know the amount that he's going to get. It's going to get him back. No, he's not. You know, it, it, it's a lot of food. That's a lot of food for a bearded dragon. But remember, guys, he's underweight. We want him to start passing solid, you know, healthy stool. And we got to get, you know, vitamins. We got to get stuff into him uh, and get him up to weight. That way then he could get on a normal diet. You guys have been, everyone's been sharing great advice for this, uh, which is I'm so happy for, uh, which I, I just can't. I mean, thank you, thank you, thank you. If you watch the videos, if you subscribe to the channel, thank you. If you watch the ads and you don't skip them, uh, thank you. That helps a lot. It has been be uh, a lot easier with my viewership growing because now YouTube revenue is actually starting to become a thing. It's more than just fifty cents a you know a video, so that's been helping a lot because I can buy you know more lighting equipment and uh, not lighting for me, not lighting for filming either. I mean like for them, vapor bulbs, uh, tube lights, whatever, and. It's been helping get, you know, supplements and everything. So you've really been helping the reptiles. And the Patreon people, shoutouts will be coming once uh, the first cycle of Patreon goes through. But already the people who have signed up, thank you so much. So much. You've really helped me and the you've helped me rescue more reptiles or take better care of the rescues and get them up to full health and then get them adopted out to forever homes and loving families. And I'm really glad because, you know, I get a lot of comments like, per these rescue videos, which I love interacting with the people. The, the guys are rooting for them, which I'm so happy for, which is really nice. So, again, I'm just saying thank you. All right. And just if anyone wanted proof that, hey, the mercury vapor bulb, where is it? You know, if we shut off the LED, then we see the UVB spectrum and that he's green. Uh... 
Man, look how he's plopped up. He's just not flush. I'm so excited. Take care, guys.